Hey guys, welcome to another episode down the unit. I'm just going to fit my boost controller onto the white GT because they're not doing much in the black one, so I thought I'd fit them. Anyway, mate, let's get into it. With my other one out of the other GT, got rid of the low boost button because I don't need it because I got a boost controller. So, and I don't have the solenoid to control it to make it low boost anyway. So, it's just a dead button. So, I'm going to pop this one on, which I've already made a hole, albeit not the neatest because it was years ago. I could probably tidy it up, but I just want to get it on to be honest here. So, yeah. Right, might be wrong about this one, so quote me in the comments if I'm wrong. From memory, you had one port going to the external wastegate and the other port coming from the next, well, the bottom of it that taps into the bottom of the turbo. I don't remember if that's right. I'm sure to try it anyway. If I'm wrong, comment at this time in the video, say you're wrong, you idiot. You're going to blow your car up. And I'll, I'll take your point as long as you tell me the way to do it. But from memory, I'm sure that's how I wired it in last time. I'm pretty sure. Because most of the wire, I've, I had a quick look at the wiring diagrams and they say, I don't know which port means which now. NO means, obviously no. Vent to air. NC, no idea. Com, no idea. Hmm, we'll just do a ton of bit more reading. A few moments later. Right, so, <coughs> according to a helpful Google search, there was an external wastegate picture. You know that stuff's always right. Got a picture of external wastegate, because I've got an external wastegate. Yeah, so it's got to be right. So, port two of the wastegate, which is on top. That goes to NC. And then the COM port will go to T piece at the bottom of the compressor housing. So it pulls it from there, I guess. Or you just T piece it off at the bottom. And it works its way back up to the top. So just do that. Right, I'm not sure if that's a bad position for the uh, for the solenoid. I'm trying to get these on, it's like a pain in the ass. Right. Now to tidy these up, I'm just cable time a tiny bit. What I've done is I've rooted the uh, solenoid wiring back here. If 
I can get it around the back, that's ideal. I can hide the wiring over there. Doing this one-handed is in by no, me no means way fast. Right, let's, I can just hide away in there. Boost controller sits there. Now this is the fun part because I've took away the took away the low boost. So I've got the hazard lights, which go there. And then I've swapped the cables around, so that is the heater. And then you just ignore the boost. Boost controller! Yeah boy! That's the boost solenoid, boost uh, controller in. Yeah, so pulling the steering wheel off, make sure you put the bolt back on, because you'll see why. Let's get some leverage. Ah, oh, there you go. That's why you put the bolt back in. Otherwise, it flings you off and kills you. Sweet. I'm not sure that's meant to pull off. You know. I have no idea what that does. I have no idea what the spring is. Is it for an airbag? I have no idea. Yeah, so she's getting, she's being taken apart again. Uh, I need to root cables and wires. One more night, I'll be by your <laughs> side. Just Japanese dust man. That'll do.
who come vibrate. Bit rough around the edges, but. Gonna have a spaceship. We we'll have two boost gauges, <laughs> two oil temperatures. Brilliant. They're gonna be taken out at some point, and I'll use them for something else. I've never usually been a fan of pillar pods, but I quite like this one. It's probably my favourite boost gauge. So can't help but realise I've. Got away from the fact that I should be putting um, gearbox oil in the car. The wrap makes it quite tight, the gauge. Wow. It's not a bad thing because it was a bit loose before. I do love how that gauge sits, you know. All I need to do is snip that, the um, vac line that feeds this. I can't bother taking it out, even though I really should do. I'll take that out, put this three-way valve in, and then that won't work. I'll have to disconnect that one regardless. That's oil pressure, wrong one. Oh yeah, it's boost. Right. That won't read anything now. So I should just be able to pull this bloody red cable out. Do I take the dials out to put the Indiglo ones in? Uh, yeah, might as well while it's all off. Let's do it. I would forget one bloody uh, screw in there. <coughs> oh. Right. There are three connectors. One on the top left. Push, you have to push them down and there you go, push. Oh. Okay. One down, two down. So there are two on the right hand side and there's one on the left hand side. Right, they're all done. It is. Right, the speeder cable's on the left hand side and it's a pain in the ass to get to. Did you have to put a hand down the back to push? There's like a little clip they have to push in. Let's see if we get the right bloody part of it. Oh! Uh, uh, yeah. That noise was a good noise. As you can see, three um, connectors. You've got one going there, one going there, and one going there, and obviously the speedo cable goes in that bad boy. And it's tight as anything. I'll show you. It's hard to describe, but you've got these two at the top right hand corner. So you have to somehow get your fingers on the top there and push it. Same with that one, finger on the top and then push it out. And obviously that one's on the top left hand corner here somewhere. Then you do the same with that. Speedo cable is fixed pretty much. So you've got to try and get your hand and push on top of that one because you can't grip at the bottom. So what I do is I push that as hard as I can down and then pull the clocks and it seems to, you might hear a noise, it's not going to break them. Well, if it does, tell me in the comments. I've never done it and I've done this quite a few times. But yeah, that's how you get the uh, the cluster out. Sweaty business taking the cluster out. Jesus. Well, let's go uh, put some Indiglo's in. As you can see, I've already got them in my old ones, so I just need to take them apart and then get the tops off and get them ready to swap over where's my dead fly gone? how on earth does a fly die inside clocks? there is no like root in at all to the dials so I genuinely don't know how a fly died in there but whatever if you don't want to take yeah you'd have to undo them 
Ignore me. Okay, it seems I broke some of the clips previously, so it looks like there's just two. I think that's it. Yeah, I've broke. <laughs> I've broke some clips. Yeah, that's not good. I gave away my other control unit. So, I just need to see if this works. It should do. I mean, they're all the same connections. Just took a punt, because I wasn't paying like 50 quid. This one was, is exactly the same, it's just a different control head. So it's the spinnies instead of a switch. Doesn't look as cool as the other ones, but it should still function the same. I have a feeling this sticky tape is going to be a bit too thick, you know. Let it through. I'll slide it over. Oh, that was sticky now. The good thing about these dials are there's a bit of clearance between the dials and the needles, so they won't get stuck. Then I used a bit of light so I could see where the uh, the low uh, fuel gauge is, fuel gauge light. They're back on. Ideal. Oh, I forgot how good they look. Nice. Just connecting the wiring up for the gauges. Filling in the glows. Once they're all in. It's tidying the wiring. Alright, now this is the pain in the ass part. This is getting the cable back on to get the speedo cable back on. If I can get it on in one go, that is awesome. Oh, oh, come on, that's it, push, push, push. I can feel it, I can feel it, I can feel it. Oh, I think that's in. Yeah, that's in. Oh, yes. Right, now I need to put the rest in. Uh, so. One, come on, come on. One. Two, three, it's 
So they're the colour of the, the uh, lights in the day. And then when I turn my lights on for night, switch it to night light. That looks sweet. All working, ideal. into the top, push it in. They just go on sideways. Um, I didn't do the turbo timer, I couldn't be bothered in the end. But I don't think I did do, I did put the Indiglow dials in, so that's an extra thing I, did, I had to do, well, I wanted to do, so, and the Blitz boost gauge, which I wanted to put in for a while, but never really got around to. That's it for this episode, guys. As usual, comment, join in, let us know what you think, any suggestions, anything like that, or anything you would do differently, yeah, by all means, jump in. And I will see you at the next episode. If you could, leave a like. And if you're a new guy, subscribe. Or new girl, I'm not sexist. Yeah, in the next episode, take it easy. See you later.